Hello everyone! Welcome to Nerea San channel. This week I have another reaction video for you guys. So this week I'm going to be sharing with you another variation that I performed at the Bolshoi Ballet Academy. This time is Sylvia Variation. So as always I'm gonna share a little bit of the behind the scenes of this variation with you guys. Some rehearsal pictures, some pictures from the actual performance, as well as some other behind the scenes info that I have for you guys today. So I performed this solo on my second year at the Bolshoi Ballet Academy. So my first year at the Bolshoi Ballet Academy, I wasn't really part of the school. We were on a training program. After that year, some people were chosen to be part of the academy. So it was my second year at the Bolshoi Ballet Academy, but technically the first one of the Bolshoi program with a new teacher. So actually my new teacher didn't really want us to learn solos yet. She really wanted to focus on us working on corps de ballet roles. So we learn how to perform with each other, to watch for the lines. Dancing solos and dancing in the corps de ballet is completely different. And I think to be a professional ballerina, even if you're gonna be a principal, you also need to know all those qualities as well. But I told her that I had to perform a solo for a gala in Spain that winter. So she said, okay, let's prepare this variation with you so you get ready for that performance. And why not to try to audition for the winter performance at the Bolshoi Ballet Academy? She said, you can audition and that's gonna be like a rehearsal for your gala. I didn't really think that they will take me. This was just like a rehearsal. I'm really glad that my teacher allowed me to perform. That's how I got to perform this solo. We also performed a group dance. We did the Zwanilda and Friends from Coppelia. And I got to do Swanilda and my classmates were doing Swanilda's friends. That was also kind of a, like a little solo for me, but also there were some parts where we had to be together. That was also a very good learning opportunity. Why Sylvia variation? Why did I choose this variation? So a very funny fact is that when I was a student, I was really picky with the variations that I had to perform. Usually when the teacher asked me which variation I wanted to do, first I would watch a lot of different versions. When you are learning a challenging variation is very good. As you guys know, I love challenges, but for these kinds of performances, you really need to look good and you have to present yourself very good. So usually in Russia and in general in the ballet world, People think that short dancers should do fast variations because they are able to dance faster, which is true. For example, for a short ballerina, they would say, okay, Flames of Paris, Cupid variation, you know, like really fast, which I ended up doing. But I always really got frustrated with that idea because yes, I'm small, but that doesn't mean that my artistry fits fast variations. It really felt more comfortable dancing slow. And actually, I think that for any student or any ballet dancer, it's good to explore and see different variations, fast, medium tempo, really slow, so you really learn how to dance in each tempo. Yes, it's completely different. Usually when you perform faster variations, you tend to make smaller movements, more compact, but if you just do those kinds of variations, then you're never able to dance very slow ones. really wanted to try this variation. As you are gonna see very soon, it's really slow in some parts, which really helped me to feel the music because in fast variation, it could be like one, two, three, four. But if you have like four counts for one step, it's actually really, really challenging. And to be honest, I really enjoy more of those kinds of variations. So yes, that's a soft fact. So here I share with you a couple of pictures from the rehearsals. Yes, as you guys know, I've shared in other reaction videos from the Bolshoi Ballet Academy that we got some rehearsals on the stage before this audition. The video that I'm going to be showing you today, it's from the audition before the actual performance. So the director of the school and some other teachers judged this audition. Many kids from the school participate, solos, pas de des, pas de trois, 
so many different pieces and after the audition, which can take one or even two days, they get together and they decide which pieces they would like to have on their winter show. So I was so lucky that they actually chose me to dance. I was very grateful for that. So here it is, my audition video for the Sylvia variation. Here they are calling my name. It's pretty funny, it sounds like Nerea san, they're saying Nerea san. <laughs> Yes, especially in this beginning, it's a lot of balancing. So you really have to hit those moments. I love this part where you can just relax, kind of, like open your upper body. Yes. This part was stressful. <sighs> After developé close to su. It's kind of hard because your hips are tilted for the developé and then you have to square them for the su, -su. Here comes the slow part. Slow arabesque. <laughs> slow turn. Yes, uh, I wish I traveled more, especially on that huge stage. Ay, manish. Most of you guys ask me if the floors at the Bolshevik Ballet Academy are raked, and yes, they are. Especially this stage is super raked. <laughs> So when you do manesh, it's like going uphill. You really have to pull your abs together. <laughs> Another balancing moment. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Ah. Finish! Oh gosh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Bow. Yes, looks like a student. <laughs> uh, a court run out. Oh gosh. So that was my variation for you guys. Another very important tip for variations that I'm gonna share with you is that it's really important the beginning and the end of the variation, right? What happens in the middle is also very, very important. But especially if you are in a competition or in a gala like this where you're gonna be judged, it's very important the first steps that you take on stage, especially when the judges are watching many variations in a row, they can already tell from the first walks on the stage if it's gonna be worth it or not, which can sound very harsh, but it's true. It's what they are going to remember the most. So pay attention to that. So here are some other pictures from the actual performance. Ta -da! And the tutu that you see in these pictures, I ordered it from Grishka. That's where I wore for this performance. You can see me here in the backstage with my roommate, Stasi, which you guys already know her as well. Actually, it was my first time performing a solo on the Bolshoi Ballet Academy stage. So I was really, really happy and it really helped me for my gala in Spain to feel more confident. So I'm really happy that I got that chance. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video. It's always very exciting for me to share these videos and these memories with you guys. Please remember to channel Toroku Onegaishimasu, subscribe to Nerea-san channel, and Kohyoka Onegaishimasu. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Arigato gozaimasu! Thank you so much for watching. Bye 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 bye! Bye bye! Bye bye!